Okay, YouTube. It's the one Aisha. Good afternoon, everyone. All right, today we'll be using just gels. I've already deconditioned my hair, and the water I'm using, I have coconut, ala, um, coconut and aloe vera juice mixed in it. It actually was coming out kind of thick and acting funny when I was spraying it, so I did put some in an empty container. So if you see me using this, it's still the same concoction. It's water, coconut juice, and aloe vera juice. Instead of using just regular water. Whew. Let us pray. <laughs> All right. So I'm in the process of moving. We actually start, today is Saturday, I start on Tuesday. So if you see the boxes or whatever in the background, the mess, excuse the mess. We had to upgrade. And also I have uh, more time that I'll be able to record also as well. Luckily, that way I can make more videos. It's already detangled. Well, it should be. It was. You know what? Let me use some of my, um, my oils, too. I always mix up my oils. And in my oils, I um, mixed black, Jamaican black castor oil. I mixed the tea tree oil. I mixed, what was this week's? And the coconut oil, tea tree oil, Jamaican black castor oil, vitamin E, and uh, I believe that's it. And I um, did an oil and go, if you check my other video out. Just trying out something. Instead of water, I used the oils. And I'm gonna lie, my hair was very, very. My curls were so defined. I'm using both gels. And I just wanted to see the difference because also I have a whole, I have at least like three different textures in my hair. So we're gonna cater to all of them. <laughs> all at once. All at once. We're gonna save us the time. Also, I got my three-in-one brush. And the reason I said three-in-one brush is three rows. You see what I see? I know I sweat my neck and everything, but On to the next. I'm gonna breeze through this real quick. I've already told you steps, we're gonna do that to the whole head. This is why. Okay, down. There we go. Another clip. Is this one? Okay. I had got the coconut juice that um, I had these little coconut pieces in it from the El Rancho uh, store. So I think that's what's clogging up the uh, bottle and making it uh, 
a challenge, shall I say. It's not hard, but making it a challenge to come out. My hand slipper. <laughs> Look at that little brush. A little corner store. I was in the corner store. Not seen it. I just got it. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. But I did need it, apparently. Can't wait to go get my ends trimmed because that makes a huge difference as well. One thing about my hair, um, I didn't get it cut in this style, but it just seems to curl layered. So <laughs> I don't trip off of it too much, but. Everybody is different. That's because I wasn't even supposed to be using that for that. I saved that bottle because I'm going to be doing the uh, rice water. We put it in that container. I figured it'd be good to pour out on there. Because I get tired of spraying. Anyway, I get tired of spraying. I can't say right now if I see a difference with using the regular coconut, uh, I mean the regular water or the coconut. And aloe vera juice water. I haven't figured out which gel I like better in my hair for the uh, wet line extreme. Will it be the blue or the clear? So, we'll use both of them. Since I like both of them. You know what? Let me do this. Over the sink. I'm so silly. That's my eyes, sir. 
price we pay for beauty. Beauty. I think of a better way to do this next time I know that. That's one good thing I can honestly say. My hair, it's not very hard to come out. I've heard some horror stories, but I really don't have that problem. I really don't have that problem too much. When I say I got about three or four different textures of hair, I am not exaggerating. My hair is kinky and curly, but in all different <laughs> all different spots. I can't pinpoint each one, but uh, it's not uncommon. Fancy, what the hell? You guys, I am so excited. We're moving. It's been a couple of years here. Seems like we just moved, actually. Again, I'm using the aloe vera juice and coconut juice in my water. And I'm using the blue and the clear wet line extreme gel for today's wash and go. And I have my oils. I love mixing different oils. I still have some left over from last week, so that's why I didn't mix any this week. I feel like I'm missing something. It was the Jamaican Black Castor Oil, the Vitamin E, Tea Tree Oil. I swear it was one more. It's gonna come to me. Right over the sink, so I'm okay. Put some water. I might change this up a little later on. I think I might do a side part instead of the uh, the part in the middle. Alright. 
that's one half that took what about 15 minutes not bad not bad You wipe it down so you won't see and the white stuff will uh disappear it'll dissolve pretty much it'll dry on up so don't worry about that and i am heavy with the products i am heavy handed Oh, I got a little water on my phone. Baby, I don't care what to do with phone. I don't know how many times I drop my phone. How many times y'all drop y'all phone a day? It's more like how many times an hour for me. You know, I'm going to speed this up. I'm right over the sink, so it's okay. I ain't gonna lie, it really does feel a lot more moisturized than just regular water. I do feel a difference, you guys. But while I'm doing this side, I am going to pin this side. And also I do it with a clip because um, to me it stretches it a little bit. Nothing fancy. Oh, oh it's just. It just got definition. I thought it was part of the other piece, but nah. Just got that definition. You see that? <laughs> and that's just the water and the uh, coconut juice and aloe vera juice. I just want to see a difference right quick, but it do feel like it got smoother with the brush than it did with the three-wing comb. I did grab a lot of gel on this one. This side, I ain't gonna lie, is a little thicker. Act a little ignorant at that. Definitely make sure you get those roots. All right. 
my shirt on with, that's all right. With this Houston humidity and heat, when I walk to the store, it'll be dry by the time I get there. And that's the corner stuff. <laughs> it's a little thick. This is my thickest part right here. I'm going to show a little more tender loving care. This middle part, I ain't gonna tell you. That nape ain't no joke. This grows, this part right here is my thickest part. It grows right, right here, it grows so thick. This is probably a whole different texture in itself right here. <laughs> like that is the thick part. Like 4B. Or a not exactly 4C, but it's like a 4B, 4A, probably. <laughs> Sink. Don't be, uh, don't be playing on me now. Since this part is a little thick, I'm definitely going to do that on separate. Like I said, it should a little more care, a little more care. So, I've been trying to build a following on YouTube. Because I'm just now starting to uh, be on YouTube more and make videos here. So I'm getting the hang of it, and it's not the same as just Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. It's, it's different. So I'm still learning as far as the technology, technical side. But um, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. And I have more room in our new home that we're moving to, our new place. And um, that way I could do get my background together and everything for you guys. I want the whole setup. But that's so all that matters. It's just the content, no matter where you film it, right? So I do watch a lot of videos and stuff, and I do a lot of research. Because I want to be able to know all hair types. I want to be able to suggest ideas to you guys as well. Everybody's hair type is not the same. So every technique is not going to work the same. So at least when I am doing my videos, I can suggest ideas for you guys. What will help you guys or what I have seen work for someone else. We all got to learn from somewhere. And I am not too bougie to say I don't know everything. I'm learning. I've been natural for about six years now, though. But I do so much to my hair. And the uh, first time I seen was it uh, Happy Curl, Happy Girl, or oh, I love her channel. I um I seen her do a wash and go first, and uh, I stayed up all night watching and catching up on all her videos. And then also Bianca Renee, I love her channel as well. So check out those. There's also a uh, well, I'm tripping. I should have did my hand in the jail, but no. No, 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 the wrong mistake. I ain't even wet it yet. And you know what? What I'm really noticing, um, especially on the uh, part I just said was so thick, my nape, that coconut water, it just feels like, like, man, like relief to it as soon as I apply it on there. 
this coconut and aloe vera juice uh man i wish you could feel it it's giving it life on these curls now but I watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of Instagram I have more followers on Instagram but I'm trying to build my um, my followers on both but especially YouTube I don't have that many on YouTube but I'm getting there I'm getting there So speaking of that, be sure to subscribe, and if you like it, click like. If you don't like it, you can even go down and explain to me what you didn't like and what I could do better. There's always room for improvement. Dang, I wish I should have shook. Y'all seen how juicy that was before I put the gel on there? Man, that's just the water, the aloe vera juice, coconut juice mixed in. And then my oils. Hmm. I'm going to do a wash and go like that next time, actually. Just use that. No gel. Hmm. But I let my hair air dry. I close to never use heat. The only time I really do put heat in my hair is when I go get my hair trimmed. I used to every... uh once a year but it's been two years since I had my hair trimmed so I, uh, I'll get it trimmed and get it washed and flat ironed that way it's just so I can see just the length and see how it's growing but um, it's the only time I put heat in my hair oh we almost done oh I didn't even See the curls? I'm trying to give you a better view. Alright, this do work better anyway. Right? Instead of spraying and spraying. It's le it's more mess. Don't get me wrong. It's more of a mess. But I'm right under the sink, so it ain't really affecting nothing over here except my shirt. This is a good idea. Because I had washed and uh, deconditioned my hair and I did use the rest of this. This is the Cantu uh, curl stretch cream. I'm sorry, curl stretch rinse. Let me get it right. Let me get it right. I wish y'all could. It feels so good. And it's just water and the coconut juice and the aloe vera juice. Oh my God, my hair feels so good. It feels so moisturized. That's why I ain't gonna lie, I can't wait to do a wash and go with just this, the water, the coconut oil, I mean, sorry, the coconut juice and the aloe vera juice, and then my oils. I want to see how that go. Because it feels so juicy. What's up with this? My hands slipped through here. It's the angle. It's the angle I was in. Get that nape. The driest part and thickest part. A little more TLC. Give it a little attention. What I didn't get is under hair though. I know I've seen a few videos and people was talking about the buildup you get using the oils or whatever, but um, to be honest, I just did oil and go, and my hair didn't have that much buildup when I washed it. I had more buildup when I'm using 
doing our railroad, watching over all the jail and shit. I could feel my hair. It feels so good. I don't know if y'all think it's looking good, but I know it's feeling good. I did say I was going to do a side part now, but To do this little piece on this side, do something different. Ta da! <laughs> That's so silly. But, um, And thank you guys for tuning in and checking out my videos. I would love it if you would subscribe. You could even share. You could even comment. I love it all. What I didn't do, and this is what I always do. Shake it up. I don't want that down. No, I'm going to the middle. I don't like that little. Can you all see the corals? You see the corals? You see the corals? And like I said, the white stuff, it is off. It'll dry. By the time I walk to the store and come back, it's going to be dang near almost dry. Halfway dry. My hair doesn't, uh, doesn't shrink too much. It doesn't shrink too bad. Oh, shook it, shook it now. Shook it, shook it now. Nah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Stay blessed. Stay blessed.